Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com, and I have some new material um, in the the workshop here in the studio, and I wanted to show it to you. It's called HTW Rhinestone Template Material, and I have it on my website. And it comes to you. It's a nice um, soft material that we use for making our templates. And I'm going to show you how I prep a, a weeding mat to get ready to work with it. And I do cut them on my weeding mat so I can eat, weed them really, really easy. And I'll show that to you in a little bit too. But um, I have two colors of weeding mats. And I have a black and I have a red color of a weeding mat. And we're going to be loading up the black one because I'm going to be cutting um, with the red material. I don't want to put a red on a red. Um, just so that I can see where the dots are and stuff really, really good. So contrast is really good. So what I'm going to do is I work with this material a lot like I would be working with sign vinyl um, as far as loading it up onto my, my workstation. I'm just going to move this over so you can see my end really good here. And I've cut my strip of the HTW, the rhinestone template material, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on my weeding mat that we have on our websites. And what you do is you go ahead and you prep this material, and then you go ahead and you just send it through to your cutter on the weeding mat. And by when you do that, um, what you can do then is go ahead and once you're done cutting, you can go ahead and peel it all off. What I'm going to do is I've peeled back just like a bookend, like I would if this was sign material and working with a sign. And I'm going to go ahead and lay a sticky part down on one end, and then I'm just going to make sure I get all the bubbles out so I don't have bubbles when I'm cutting. And I'm just taking and rolling back my um, white backer paper off of it and getting the bubbles out so it has a really nice smooth appearance when I run through my cutter. When you get to this part, it may flip over like that. Just keep your fingers on it. I don't use a squeegee because I don't want to make a, a mark on the material. And when you're done, you end up with a really nice flat surface. And you can also use this material for um, a um, a workstation and you would do the same thing if you're going to make a workstation just go ahead and grab one of my weeding mats and then grab the material and make yourself your whatever size weeding station that you would like to you would like to make so what I do now is I would go ahead and I would this is all ready to go I would go ahead and I sent would send it through my cutter and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that now but in the meantime I'm gonna show you a little bit more on how, it, how easy it is to weed. And I've cut out an Irish on here on the black mat, my weeding mat. I've cut out the HTW rhinestone template material and um, I've got my Irish cut out and this is how easy it is to peel up off of our mats. And I just kind of grab one corner, I just kind of rock it back and forth and get it off of there. And as you can see, it's, it's left behind all the weeding dots that I will scrape off. This is my template when I'm done and I'm going to for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it back right on my white carrier sheet that I used for the red one for right now and set that aside. And I'm going to come back and fill that f with stones for you in a minute. Now a lot of people ask me, how do you get these things off the mats? Well, um, I use one of my rhinestone scoops and I just put a little bit of the HTW rhinestone template material on the edges so it's not real sharp so you don't end up cutting yourself. And as you can see, I've got template boogers all over there. So you just take and with that, you just take and come through there and pull those off. And it's really easy. They stick together. And you just clean that off, scoop it up it off there. Clean those off as soon as you're done cutting or shortly after. You don't want to leave this or any template material on any of your cutting mats because it could make a, a bond that would be a harder for you to um, go ahead and clean up and get done. Always when you're using the weeding mats make sure whatever side you've cut on is the side you always cut on because there's some a little bit of glue residue left you know over through here um, and there's definitely cutting marks and I've reused my mats for over a year. The last thing you want to do is turn it over and get a fresh side. You need to keep this fresh side to run through your cutter so you don't end up um, passing glue through onto your rollers and stuff to keep your cutter healthy. So find the side that you're going to work with and keep that side as your work spot the whole time. So let's go ahead now and I'm going to grab a workstation over here and let's go ahead and fill up our template so I can show you how easy it is to work with this new material. You just stick it down to your workstation 
and go ahead and fill it up. I'm using a Peridot, the Korean low lead wholesale. We wholesale those, um, and it's a good grade of a Korean stone. So I'm just going ahead and I flooded that, and I'm just going to go ahead and put those into my template material. And as you can see, they flow in there really, really well. Sometimes we have one or two that doesn't flow, so you can kind of come back and work those in if you want to. And if you just want to go fast, you can actually even just come back and then throw one or two stones that might be missing into your, your material, too. Just about got that done. There's a few on the S here. And push it off, push your excess off, just like with any of the other rhinestone materials that I've shown you how to use. I'm really excited about this material. It's, it's got a, it seems like it's a little lower profile, but when you go to put your stones in it, you, you just don't notice that it's a little lower profile. It's almost like it's lighter weight, but uh, works really well. I'm going to grab a couple just to put them in there. This one's upside down, so let's twirl that one. Get it in the right spot. That one needs to go over there. It was a defect of one. Okay, this one is upside down. When you're cutting any template material, you want to make sure that you have your stones nice and tight, but you also want to make sure that you have it um, far enough apart that you can actually take and um, not rip your template when you're, when you're going and putting those stones in. Um, let's see here, those look good, those all look good, and that looks good too. So we've got that flooded up and we're ready to go. This uh, particular template or transfer that we're doing here, the Cyrus transfer, this one is going to be going into one of our shipments that are going off today or tomorrow from our website. And I just put little, um, little mystery things in some of the packages. I don't know who's getting this. We'll be drawing that off of the, off the website and off of Facebook. Um, if you're interested in joining our Facebook page, just come to rhinestonetemplates.com. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay down our mylar. I like to use the high-grade mylar. I don't like to use the silicone tape that much um, because it carries too much static electricity in the environment that I'm in. And as you can see, I picked up every single stone. My transfer is done. And here is the transfer here. We'll go ahead and put it back on the backer sheet here. But I just wanted to let you guys see how easy this new material is to work with. It cuts so great. It weeds excellent. Um, it's very economical for you. Um, check out the website. We have, I think, five different colors. We have red, yellow, black, um, green, blue, and there's also a white. Um, so actually, I think that's six colors. So um, just try the material. It's called HTW, Rhinestone Template Material, and the only place that you're going to be able to find that right now is at rhinestonetemplates.com. And if you have any questions, just give me a buzz. Thank you.